Hi everyone and welcome to Web Easy Step Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're gonna talk about sorting retrieved data. We have three points to talk about. The first point to sorting by individual column. The second to sorting by multiple columns. The third point to specifying sort direction. So let's start. Step one, sorting by individual column. As you learned in the previous video, the following SQL statement returns a single column from a database table. But look at the output here. The data appears to be displaying in no particular order at all. Actually, the retrieved data is not displayed in a random order. If unsorted, data is typically displayed in the order in which it appears in the underlying tables. This could be the order in which the data was added to table initials. When you insert the data, it will display in this order was inserted add but what if we want to sort this data okay let's let's come back to explicitly sort data retrieved use order by and after this close write the column name this will sort the data alphabetically by the column name Let's try. Right. Order by. And the column name. Let's test. Okay, as you see, from A to Z, you start the name with the A, C, D, E, H, I. Okay, step two, sorting by multiple columns. It is often necessary to sort data by more than one column. For example, if you are displaying an, a product list, you might want to display it sorted by price and name. To sort by multiple columns, simply specify the column names separated by commas, just as you do when you are selecting multiple columns. The following code retrieved three columns and sorted the results by two of them, first by price and then by the name. Let's see. Select ID name price from categories order by price comma and name let's test as you see it was sorted by price five thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and the big number is PLO eighty eight then it will order by 
name. It is so important to understand that when you are sorting by multiple columns, the sort sequence is exactly as specified. In other words, using the output in the previous example, the products are sorted by the product name column only when multiple rows have the same product price value. If all values in the price column has been unique, no data would have been sorted by the name. Let's see in this example. Here, the price is unique, so no sort for the name. But if you go in the PLO, we have 88 price. This is not unique, so it will go to the name and sort by the alphabetically C is the first and I step 3 specifying sort direction data sorting is not limited to ascending sort orders which is from A to Z also this is the default sort order the order by close can also be used to sort in descending order which is from Z to A to sort by descending order the keyword desk must be specified the following example sorts the products by price in the descending order let's test okay as you see from 88 to 5 but what if you want to sort by multiple columns the following example sorts the products in the descending order plus product name put the comma and write name let's test as you see the this keyword only applies to the column name precedes it which is price if you want to descending on multiple columns be sure each column has its own disk keyword like this finally the quiz time using a combination of order by and limit it is possible to find the highest or lowest value in a column so how to find the value of the most expensive item please leave a comment with the answer thank you for watching